Hello, lovely people! Welcome to the Geekabit. I am Penj, and welcome to City State, which you probably guessed the game was called City State, but the fact that it says City State in big red letters on the screen. So, what is City State? It describes itself as a city builder and political sandbox. Now, I have had a look into this. I've played maybe 20 minutes just to get used to the very, very basics of how it works, and I would say it is far more a political sandbox than a city builder. There is city building in there. It is not terribly advanced. It's a little bit SimCity 2000-esque. So if you did like that, you, this might sort of satisfy that itch. But uh, yes, I'd say it's more a political sandbox and we shall see as we go in. So there's lots of political decisions that you need to make that affect your city-state. Uh, it's coming out today, 22nd of February 2018 on Steam. It comes out at 10 a.m. PST, which I think is Pacific Standard Time. I'm not entirely sure, uh, which equates to uh, 6pm, so 1800 hours GMT for us UK folks. It should cost $9.99. I don't know what the equivalent cost is going to be for UK people, but I have been given a key to this by the developers so I can get some videos up early, which is jolly lovely. So thank you to those guys. Right, so let's create a new city-state. Okay, so when you start, it generates the map. So it generates the map like this. It's a big square map and it looks very, very lovely. Right, is it right click to move? Yes. So you've got a mixture of uh, water, just plain grass. You've got forests, you've got mountains, you've got jungles, and you have deserts. Now, the mistake I made when I played this first time, I went, oh, I don't want desert. That's annoying. I can't do anything with a desert. Jungle, that's going to get in the way. Mountains, can't build on those. But actually, those three things are where you can get a lot of resources. So mountains have got iron in, jungles have got gold in for some reason, and the deserts obviously have oil in. So you kind of want a balance of those. However, I will take a bit less water. I will certainly rejig this landscape and have less water. Also, we can do a region type. So we can have continental, we can have an island, we can have a coastal location, we can have continental. Okay, that's it. I think we go for an island. Let's go for a nice island. Let's ramp the water down a little bit. And let's just pop those up ever so slightly higher. Desert will do. I will leave desert as it is. And then, yes, you can't sort of... Uh, you can't dictate how much grassland there's going to be but you can if you want to you can change the entire map because you've got a terraforming brush so you could just paint on grassland if you want and you could go ah this lake is not i don't hate this lake let's fill it in with lovely grass farewell water so um yeah you can change it all if you like however we're going to generate a new map with those settings so let's see how this goes so it does some random biffle buffle yeah there we go randomization of biomes and all that kind of stuff okay there's our island okay right let's have a look then so, uh, yeah, it looks pretty good. There's a good range of mountains in the middle. There's there's more forest. There's a big jungle up there. That could be quite good because you get gold out of jungles. That could be very lucrative. A uh, good mountain range down here. Some desert, a couple of patches of desert. A cloud. That's nice. Bye-bye, cloud. And then, and obviously, water because we're on an island. Yes, I think that looks as good a place as any. So let's create a new state here. Creation of a new city-state. Okay, so, I mean, this city-state immediately makes me think of Civilization 5 and 6 because that's got city-states in. So what shall we call it? We're going to call it uh, Pangea. Pangea, like Pangea, but but not, but more about me, obviously. And, and this is a nice touch. I like this. You get to draw a little flag. You get to make a flag. So look, you can just you, know, you can just scribble and do whatever you like, or you could do you could do a smiley face or whatever. However, I think I know exactly what we are going to do for the flag of Pangea. Yes, there we go. So, Geek Cupboard Colours representing a sort of sideways look at a cup of tea. There we go. So, yeah, it's got the Geek Cupboard Colours literally right next to each other on this thing, which is tremendous. So, yeah, there we go. Cup of tea for Pangea. Let's go. Next. So, here we go. Now, disclaimer before I start this, because when I did this before, I was a bit confused. I'm not really much of a politics follower. I kind of understand that there's governments and governments do things that look after the country. However, when we get into stuff like... This is a liberal democracy. If I change this to here, it becomes a liberal welfare state. I don't really understand what that means. I'm not 100% sure of the difference between a democracy and a welfare state. I, I'm not really up on that. I kind of... Uh, co communism and fascism, it's all from civ. All my government understanding comes from civilization. So, um, yeah, these things... I'm not going to really bother so much about this here. This stuff up here, what it says. I'm just going to actually read about the words that are on here. So, we believe in... So, the city-state of Pangea. About humankind. So, we want individual judgment, responsibility, and self-ownership. Or, the rights to health, dignity, and non-discrimination. Or, 
from each according to his ability to each according to his needs. Well, that, I don't agree with that because if you've not got much ability at something, then you're going to be sort of uh, not given the chances. The rights to health, dignity, and non-discrimination do does sound good. I believe that's very good. Or individual judgment, responsibility, and self-ownership. Again, that sounds okay, doesn't it? Individual judgment, responsibility, and self-ownership. I mean, of this middle one. This middle one that was ticked anyway seems fairly safe. And about society. So, strict enforcement of private property. Okay, so that means your house then, I assume, does it? Private property within the limits of common good. I don't really know what that means. Or cooperative ownership. Now, cooperative ownership, is that communism? I don't, I don't want to be a communist island. Uh, I'm going to, again, go for this one. Private property within the limits of of common good whatever common good might be i don't know i think there's a couple more now here this this confused me this this was vastly confusing this all these two options i don't understand what they mean so about economy laissez-faire no idea what that is not a not a scooby-doo so i'm not going to pick that economic security and equal opportunities yes i think that sounds very good and social ownership of the means of production uh so the means of production would be a factory, so the so, so the state owns a factory. So again, that's kind of communism, isn't it? I like this. Equal opportunities for everybody. And then about tax. A flat tax, a progressive tax, or taxes to equalise wages? Uh, the middle one? Progressive tax? So does that mean the bigger your company, the more tax you pay, for example, or the more you earn, the more you pay on tax? That makes sense to me. Rather than just everybody paying the same, which will sort of... Uh, uh, discriminate against the lower earners that will kind of give everybody an equal footing so yes there we go right now we can create so we've got a liberal democracy which is good yay go the liberal democracy but this will change as we play so let's have a look then create a state confirm the foundation of Pangea. and there we go oh that looks it's on our flag look it's the cup of tea so there's a little tutorial thing it, it doesn't last for very long the tutorial at the top i'll be honest so uh, there we go, population of entirely nobody. But right, let's pause. You have to know that space is pause, which I do like, so that's good. And we need to find somewhere to start. Now, I think down here looks pretty good. Maybe here somewhere, because that could be used. We've got potential for business sort of opportunities and money-making stuff from oil and rainforesty gold in there. And then we've got some mountains for iron. Plus a nice big flat bit there to build on for um, for farms and houses and all that kind of jazz. So yeah, that that could be good. I should have filled those in on the city sort of screen thing. Above, but never mind, right, so they're there. Anyway, we can't fill them in now, I don't think. I don't think we can fill them in. So yes, we have. It, the screen is quite the, 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 sort of... It's, a, it's like a city building screen, but it serves us slightly more technical. So you've got... An economy for lower, middle, and upper demand. So this is uh, the class, I believe, of people. So uh, there's a lot of demand for lower class, sort of lower growth workers or something. I don't know. I'm not entirely sure. Uh, GDP, that's something to do with monies and production that we make. But also there's nobody here. Budget, obviously, is nothing. We start with 20 grand. And bonds with stock market stuff, which I don't understand at all. But there's a stock, there's a stock index of that number and a net change of that number. And a credit rating of ah, which it, I assume is good. I assume it's not a bad thing if someone's got a credit rating of ah. Uh, so yeah, that's good. Mini map, good. Uh, bars here, that's good. Quality of life, average. This is the number of people that live here. I don't know what that is. Ooh, oh, I didn't press that before. Oh, that's jolly exciting. Okay, right. So you've got stats like suicide rates, hipsters, <laughs> popularity of reality shows, PhDs in philosophy, dogs in stroller. Oh. Oh, lifestyle. <laughs> Sim City 4 players. City Skyline players. So obviously it is harking back to those people. That's quite a nice touch. I didn't notice that before. So what we need to do now is build. We need to build something. So everything is built off roads. You can't see it because the game pause thing is in the way. But just say, build a road and zone low or medium density areas along it. Roads have a range capacity of three tiles like good old Sim City used to. So we're going to be building kind of in the desert. So we want to get a road. Now, can we change? Oh, we can't build while we're paused, can we? That's a bit weird. So, let's build ourselves a regular highway. That one there, because it's monthly cost of one maintenance. Whereas that one is three maintenance. So, we want to build along here. So, let's go from here. And we'll build up along there. 
Then we want a space of three, so we can build along here. So one, two, three. So we want to build across like that, which is good. And then there's those mountains, which is good. So we can put stuff in those mountains. And then we can head off, say... Oh, I didn't want to do that quite like that. Never mind. Uh, and then to there, maybe. No. Oh, I didn't want to do that. I've created a terrible roundabout. Hang on. Just obliterate the terrible roundabout. Goodbye, terrible roundabout. Uh, and then... And the other thing is, you can't build on something if, when there's something there. So it doesn't just go, right, you want to knock the, the jungle down. That's fine. Uh, it knocks the trees down. Knocks uh, woods down, like regular forest, but not jungles. It kind of goes, no, no, you can't build on a jungle. You need to specifically knock it down with the demolishing tool. So, uh, yeah, let's go round that way then. Oh, and now it's changed my road type. Has it changed my road type? It does seem to have changed my road type. Can we go back to the one which I wanted? The cheap one, please. I'm probably wasting an awful lot of money faffing about with these roads. Right. So like that, and then along there. Okay. Now we need low or medium density housing. And an issue has appeared. So if we pause it... Uh, can I select anything? No, so I can't build while it's paused. That's a bit weird. Okay, well, let's get some low density housing in. So there we go. Now, one thing you have to get used to is you don't zone. You don't drag and zone. You literally plonk down a square at a time. So you can't just go, right, zone that area because it just draws them out under the cursor, which is a bit weird. So let's build some low density housing along here, which shall be lovely. And yeah, it looks very nice, look. Very SimCity 2000-esque with the graphics. And they just pop in and look, there's a low density house. And it's kind of shack type things with a big fence around it. And that's absolutely fine. And then I think across the other side... Let's put in some medium density housing across the other side of the road. Now, that's as, about as advanced as it gets with the housing stuff. You've got low, medium, high, and then you've got arcologies. Again, SimCity 2000 sort of type concept, which are the big things, but we can't get them yet because we have to have 50,000 people and we've currently got 268 people. So, yes, we need a little bit more. Ploppables, <laughs> which I do quite like the name of, are just parks, it seems, I, unless they unlock more as we go through. But um, these are just parks of different types. So it upgrades your land value depending on the park you put in. But the more expensive parks, uh, obviously the more expensive parks give you the more expensive land value increase. But you have to actually pay for them per month. So at the minute, our cash flow is minus 86 per month. So all these people clearly are not paying enough tax. Maybe I need to rip them off a bit more. Uh, they can go three tiles away from the road, can't they? So let's do that. Right, and this is the big this is the big thing about this game. So we're building a city, and it's great. The city building options are, you know, limited. You don't put in things like hospitals. Let's pause it. You don't put in things like hospitals or schools or sewage or all that kind of stuff. You pretty much just put houses down, roads, and industry type things and and parks. It seems. However, you can also explore for minerals, but. Right now, we're going to deal with the issue. So this is where the politics comes in. We have an issue to deal with, and it shall be a tricky governmentally thing. So, legal worked hours. A new debate arises among the citizens and in the news. The government is expected to undertake actions to cope with this issue. So, how many working hours should the citizens be allowed to do? I suppose that means. The government should not put any limitation on the number of hours to be worked. The number of hours allowed to be worked is 50. The number of hours allowed to be worked is 40 or 30. So it depends what we pick. This can then influence our people. So if we put no limitation, then some people will be sad. Some people will be happy. If we limit it to certain things, obviously, if we limit it to 30, business owner type people will be really cross. Because they'll be going, well, no one's doing any flipping work in my business anymore. Um, I think 50 hours a week. 30 is too low. 30 is too low. That's kind of four day weeks going on there. Uh 40 might be okay, actually. 40 is probably okay. Uh, I don't want to have no limit because then people can be really miserable and work to kind of death. So that's a bit stupid. We don't want that. So the number of hours allowed to work 40 or 50. I don't know. I don't really know what the standard is around the world for this. 40. Let's put that. That seems quite nice. Uh, oh, and another issue has arisen already. Right. We'll approve that then. So... The lower income people are happy, the higher income people are very, very, very sad, which is uh, probably not the best thing to do. Civil rights has gone up a bit, but our freedom index has gone down, but there is no impact on the budget. Okay, so that was our first decision, and we can change that. Another issue has arisen, private security. Should private corporations be allowed to provide security services? Private companies are allowed to provide armed and unarmed security services. Private companies are allowed to provide armed and unarmed security services, but with proper official licenses and diplomas. 
They're allowed to provide unarmed security services only. All security should be handled by the state and municipalities only. I think private companies are allowed to provide armed and unarmed security services, but with official licenses and diplomas. Yeah, I think that I think we go for that. So yes, they're allowed. Now there's no cost to anything, is there? Now that, if we put security should be handled by the state, it costs the government money because we then have to it costs five dollars. Wow. Uh, we have to then provide that. And I believe that probably gives us money. Yeah, so if we do this, we don't get any benefit from it, but it's probably gonna helpfully make people Yeah, there we go. So we've 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 hauled the higher income people back into our favour a little bit. These guys just didn't give a monkeys. Okay, so stability here. Obviously, if you get to stability, nothing. I believe they riot. I never got that far. Okay, let's do some exploring for minerals. So, the mountains and the deserts and the jungles have minerals in them. Like this mountain here, Iron Prospect 93%. So, we click it, we start the underground survey, and we drill, and hopefully we find iron. Yay, we found iron. Allow exploitation of iron. Because then it gives us money. Now, this one here is a 21% chance. And that's not very good, is it? Okay, you start the underground survey just there. And you found iron. Good. Uh, so, also the darker the tile, the more chance it is for the mountains. And the redder in the jungles. And I believe the sort of browner? Yeah, the browner in the desert, the more chance of oil. So, let's do this. Let's get some oil and stuff in. I know at the top it's telling me to do food. But that's fine. We'll do this as well. So... Start that survey drill and iron. That would be nice if we could find iron on this one. The prospect is only 21%, but let's have it to, let's give it a go. We might look it out. We might fluke it. No. Okay, drill a bit deeper. Cost $200 each time. Drill deeper. Yay, there we go. So four ironing. Ironing? No, not ironing. Iron works. They're not ironing. Well, there might be ironing. I don't know. Anyway, we can fill that with houses. So let's put a little ploppable park down. Let's put a little park just there, right next right next to the mines. Mmm, lovely. So we're paying for that. So we will pay for that in cash flow, which is which is fine. Uh, and then this was low density, wasn't it, this side? So let's put some more low density type stuff down. So I think that's as far as it'll reach from that road. One, two, three. Yeah, so if we put something here, it can't be used because there's no road. Okay, that's fine. And then let's put ourselves down by the beach. We have some high density stuff. Should we put some high density stuff down here? Look, so that's three tiles away. That might look quite cool. And we shall then go here and look for oil. So oil prospect, yes. Start underground survey. So this costs 200 and find oil. Come on, nothing. That was our best chance of oil. Yes, allow exploitation of oil. More oil. So yeah, you can zoom in to a degree. Uh, and yet it does look, it just reminds me so much of SimCity 2000. It's just got that, Sort of that the graphics and the, the feel of it and the roads. There's no cars going on our roads at the minute. We'll get that sorted, I'm fairly sure. Um, okay, now we can do this again. So there's one next to it. Oil prospect. Yeah, we might as well. Oil is good. Oil will make the monies. Nothing found. Come on, dig deeper for oil. Yes, very good. Right, that one, 98% chance of oil. Rather think we should have that. Yeah, okay. Right, this is good. This is good. 77% chance. Probably, yeah, we might fluke it. Yes. Okay, so four oil works. You can go the census tool, I think, and do that. So, yeah, so road access, yes, because it's within three tiles of a road. And monthly production of six. So, yeah, look, cash flow, 44. Now, I do need to build some farms. So, this could be a farming area in this bit here. So, farms are literally as simple as these tiles. There's nothing, there's nothing particularly clever. You just cultivate the fields. You do that with it. So all that can be farmland. That can be farm belt. Uh, one, two. Yeah, that's three away. That's certainly within range, as is uh, from there. One, two. Yeah, okay. So look, lots of lovely fields. That's a nice thing. That's good. An issue has arisen in the city state of Pangea. How should prostitution be regulated? Goodness me. Right, okay. Uh, it's legal with regulated business registration. It's legal, but brothels and pimping are not. Illegal to buy sex, legal to sell sex. Uh, how does that work then? So if it's legal to sell it, but it's illegal to buy it, surely that doesn't make any sense. So if you want to go and buy some fun times, you have to, you're, you're the illegal one. And prostitution is illegal and severely prosecuted. Well, that seems a bit harsh. Oh, this is very tricky. This is very tricky. This probably says a lot about me as well when I'm picking these things. So, uh, I'm thinking 
I don't I don't like that seems a bit harsh it's illegal and severely prosecuted uh, I don't want it to be legal with regulated business registration prostitution if oh is legal I think it should say but brothels and pimping are not yes I think that one I think it's always going to happen it's always going to happen if we make it illegal then it's just going to annoy loads of people and it'll happen anyway and then our police services or whatever will have to deal with it and it'll probably cost us money so I think we'll go for this we'll go for it's legal but brothels and pimping are not. So let's see how this goes. This is intriguing, isn't it? So um, there we go. So the higher income people didn't give a monkeys at all. The middle income people were happy with it. And the lower income people were sad. And the impact on the budget was absolutely minimal. And our stability went down a little bit. And look, look at the lovely farm belt, look. Some lovely farm stuff. So there's fields, there's proper nice fields. That's crop fields, that's orchards, that's some greenhouses. That's turned into some crops. And look, the little, there's little things on it. Little tractors that cut it all down. It's it's very cool. Okay, uh, let's put some housing. <laughs> mm, lovely housing along here, everybody. <laughs> Come and live next to this. I mean, the mines, the, the, the mines, the mountains probably look pretty. The mines, perhaps less so. So let's put some low density stuff there. Now in here, let's go digging for gold. So again, like before with the oil and the iron in the mountain, yes, gold is good. We will certainly have ourselves some gold mines. Thank you very much. Yep. Drill, drill, drill. Beautiful. Right, anywhere else that's got high chance? Back there's a high chance. Uh, could I drive... Could I put a road through the middle? And that would let me get some of those mountains as well. One, two, three. Yeah, it would let me get those mountains with high chance of iron in. So yes, with jungles, you can't, you have to sort of manually do, uh, uh, yeah, there, look. So you have to destroy it using the tool, which is a bit weird. You can't just sort of build over it, but maybe it's a security measure to make sure you don't actually delete something you uh, you might want. So yeah, we'll get rid of that as well. Okay, so then the road can go through and out the other end. And now we can get these mountains and things on board. So let's get that mountain in. Start the survey, drill... Uh, nothing. Drill again. Come on, I've got a road for you. Yes. Uh, anything else you want? Uh, well, some iron, uh, some gold possibly there. Might fluke some gold. Yeah, lovely. Uh, a bit there. Sixty-seven percent chance. Go for that. Yeah. Okay. This is this is going surprisingly well. Eighty-nine percent chance of gold to be found there in our gold mines. Okay. Lovely. Sixty-seven uh, percent again. Let's wing it. We can give it a go, can't we? Yes. <laughs> Oh my goodness me, we have been very fortunate. The other chance is not so good. And then iron in that one, because it's three away from the road. So it might be okay. And I think that one had an okay chance, as did that one. So yeah, let's uh, let's obliterate this all. So there we go, another mountain knockdown for the sake of progress. Uh, and we'll do the same here, actually. We'll do these ones as well. We'll get some iron out of these. Uh, nothing. Oh, okay. We've got to drill a little bit deeper. And that does move down. Little graphic shows that you're drilling down. 49%. Eh, 50-50. We can give it a go. Yay! Right, okay. Good. Uh, okay, this bit here then. This bit here. I am going to knock these bits down like that. And we're going to put some housing in. So let's put some medium density housing like that. And the same on this corner as well. Let's get rid of the those those yeah okay that took a little while that took a few goes and then medium density housing just there next to the gold mines so it says here now the budget is in surplus which is true we get 930 924 whatever we get a profit so we should allocate some funds to education health or security 20 dollars spent per 1000 citizens is a minimum so these bars here appear oh hang on right hang on pause so these bars here Show the education, health and security. So yeah, so you don't place, like we said earlier, you don't place schools and things. And, and you know, road network, well, you place the roads, but you don't place like buses or subways or anything like that. You don't place schools, you don't place hospitals, you don't place fire stations. It's kind of just sort of inherent that, you know, there's a fire station somewhere amidst all this low density housing and high density housing and all whatever it is. How is the high density housing looking, by the way? Does it look Okay. Oh, look, that one looks quite cool. That looks quite. That looks like a high density sort of thing. Oh, I can't do it while it's paused. That's really irritating. Thirty occupants, middle class, with road access. Yeah, okay, so it looks okay. That's quite a good place to live over there. We might need some more farms, possibly. So here we can go to the budget. No, we can't because it's paused. Here we go to the budget. Look, and we can do the taxes. 
we can fiddle about with the taxes if we want. But here we go. So $20 spent per 1,000 citizens is a minimum. Okay, so we need to put this up. So let's get educated people in. Let's do that. Uh, healthcare, can we put 10 for the minute? Like how, how much is this going to impact my budget? Is my cash flow going to come down? Okay, no. So there we go. So we can put 20 for each one. A lovely individual clicky thing. There's no sliders or anything. You have to click the button lots of times. And then I think... Let's put some more in education. Let's put 30 in education for now. So education should then start creeping up as our people become more educated. Uh, okay, right. There is an immigration button as well, which we might want to do. So at the minute... Closed. It is closed. Border control is shut. How many immigrants should be allowed to enter our country? Is it a country or a city state? Probably a difference between the two. It's closed. No one can come in. However, that that ain't me. I'm, I'm all welcoming. Welcome to the Geek Cupboard. Welcome to Pangea. You are welcome indeed. So we can move this slider along. We can facilitate immigration. There we go. So it affects your affects your uh, stability. And indeed, it changes. I'm, an, I'm now a liberal welfare state. Is that good? Okay. Yes, I I've just got a flag with a cup of tea on it. That's all that matters. So, yeah, so if we do this, expected arrivals, 54 low-income people, 19 middle-income people, and 4 high-income people. Let's just give that another nudge that way. There we go. So we get some more people in as well. So that's rather good. Okay, so we have another issue to deal with. So finance regulation. To what extent should financial products be regulated? No regulation. Banks and individuals are free to buy and sell any kind of financial products at their own risk. Okay, I think that way madness lies. Banks have to be certified by the government to operate as much as the products they sell. Okay, risky financial products are not allowed. All financial transactions have to be approved by the government or banks are state-owned. Individuals and corporates can only borrow money from the government. Okay, yeah, again, is that communism? People know more about this. Please tell me. That sounds like communism. No regulation just sounds completely idiotic. I'm very much down the line, aren't I? I'm quite predictable. Um, banks have to be certified by the government to operate as much as the products they sell. So that is, you can do what you like as long as we give you a certification for it. Or, you're not allowed risky financial products. All transactions have to be approved by the government. So that's going to have no cost. That's no cost. That's no cost. That gives me 120. But that does mean I state own the banks, which I don't like. Um, I think this one. Don't sell risky financial products. <laughs> Really? No risk? No, that one. Banks have to be certified by the government to operate as much as the products they sell, which I'm not entirely sure the semantics of that. But um, yeah, so they have to be certified by me, King Pet. Am I king of a whatever I was, a liberal welfare state? And what am I? A minute, a prime minister, a king? I don't know, whatever. I, a king will do. Uh, let's have that then. So let's see how this annoys everybody. Uh, low income don't care, middle income are a bit cross. Higher income are happy about that. Freedom index goes up. Civil rights, there's no change and there's no impact on the budget. So all those legislation things go into here. So there's all these decisions that we've got to make. So we haven't made any on environment or any on economy yet. Although I could have argued that one was economy based uh, with the finance regulation. But that's legislation. Okay, yes, look, it's got a little kind of dome uh, thingy in Oh, they've all got that icon. Okay, I'll shut up. So um, we when we go through all these, we can then change them. So we can then change these, the answer we've given, once all these issues have been answered. So once all these, how many there are? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Once all eight have been answered, I believe we can then go through and change these legislations. If we suddenly went, well, actually, I want private companies to run everything and that's it, then we can change it. But right now we can't until they're all done, which is absolutely fine. And let's just have a quick look then at this. So 23% uh, of obesity so maybe health we need to do uh, there's no alcoholism there's a little bit of drug addiction going on there's no suicide rate smoking's quite high come on people can i ban smoking in the legislation please um phds no reality shows are not very popular gun owners 66 percent okie dokie uh 52 percent of beautiful women i mean i don't know how you justify this surely beauty is in the eye of the beholder but okay 54 percent more beautiful women are appearing every day uh, and there's another issue for us to deal with. Okie dokie, what now? What are the industries that the government should subsidise? Okay, do not subsidise anything. Grant tax deduction for health and education related businesses. Subsidise low income housing, real estate, agriculture, health and education businesses. Subsidise all exporting industries. 
Now, this is where my lack of experience for this goes, but subsidising is the government give them money, essentially, isn't it? They prop them up a bit with some government cash. Now, what's that? That'll cost me 24 a month. That's 12. That's nothing. That's 36 a month. I think this, low-income housing, real estate, agriculture, health, education. If that helps with health and education, that's good. And it might help with the agriculture to give it a bit of a boost. So, yeah, let's go down that route. The lower income don't like it very much. Middle income are absolutely flipping over the moon about it. And the higher income people are just a bit happy. And the budget has changed an absolute marginal, marginal bit. Okay, so there we go. I think what we'll do is we'll call it a day for now. But the city-state of Pangea is indeed taking shape. So we've got quite a lot of businesses going on. Got a lot of sort of gold mines and stuff happening over here. And got lots of iron mines. We've got some oil over here, which is probably very profitable. In fact, can I see how much we make from like, oil? How much? Where's the full? But that's the budget thing there, isn't it? How do I look at my full finance thing? I want to see how much I make from all the various bits and bobs. Trade. There we go. So foodstuffs. I produce 102, but I obviously consume some because I have people, so they eat it. So we eat 48. So we eat about half of our food that we make, and we sell the rest. So export 706. So we are entirely driven by our exports of things, primarily iron and gold. Look at the revenue we make from gold. Wow, 360. So print, we're kind of gold state. Um, and we produce uh, quite a lot of iron, actually. But the gold is worth more. Now, is the oil worth more? We only consume one oil. 2315. I thought the oil would be more. I thought the oil would be worth more to sell to people. But okie doke, there we go. So that's fine. That's fine. And we're going to leave it there. But I think we'll come back. We'll come back and do some more of this, I think. We'll get some more issues in. And we need to build this up a bit. I want to build it into more of a more of an actual city so we can get some more roads and stuff going on get some more more industry stuff happening maybe put some more of these ploppables down which i do quite like the terminology of and then yeah put some more housing and such like all over the place and then yeah see how it goes it might descend into carnage it might descend into riots and violence and the city state might implode but uh, yeah, we shall see. We shall see when we come back to it next time. So if you have enjoyed this, please do leave a like. And also please do subscribe to keep up to date with this and all the other stuff that we do in the Geek Cupboard. But for now, thank you very much for joining me in the Geek Cupboard. And I will see you next time. Let's follow Matt Spence, aka Duke Nukem, as he chases after a dirty villain. There are a lot of angry people still. I don't know why. Never ever employ him, he's terrible. This place is full of rats. Timothy Robles with your kind of crazy eyes. You have tea leaves in one of my shops.